continuing with Friday the 13th, the Ultimate Edition DVD Collection, with Part 7, The New Blood. Jason is released from his watery grave by a chick with psychic powers. Give me a minute. Psychic Powers, the standby for 80s horror. This one doesn't even have the whole, you know, you need to, there are limitations to it like some of the others, you know. The Dead Zone had that, Firestarter had the whole, I have to put the fire somewhere, said charmingly by a small Drew Barrymore who couldn't act even then. Psychic power. Anyway, basically, Jason is now terrorizing this small party, literally party, birthday party. And he starts by killing the person who's supposed to be at the party, so everyone else is basically just waiting for him, and every time they hear a sound, they of course think that it's him. I guess in that situation I might not jump to the conclusion that it's a super zombie with superpowers and who's been underwater and started to rot. Yeah, the characters are, they're either weird or just barely there. I lost count of how many times I was saying at the screen, what the fuck am I even watching? These characters' actions make no sense. This dialogue makes no sense. We have a doctor who's trying to drive Tina, the psychic teenager. He's really trying to rile her up ignoring the fact that he could very well be killed by her powers since one of the first occurrences was her killing her father. This is not a spoiler, it happens in the first five or ten minutes. She kills him by getting out into a boat and then he gets on the you know, the pier kind of thing, you know, the made of wood. She makes it, you know, wave back and forth a bit, not unlike a Disney World ride, and apparently he's too fucking stupid to just walk back to the shore. Instead, he just kind of stands there, and, I don't know, maybe he thinks it's a Wii Fit game or something, and he d drowns because apparently he can't fucking swim. Oh god, this movie is fucking stupid. The acting is over the top, although I suppose it would be difficult to make anything good out of these fucking characters. Jason himself isn't too bad. Kane Hodder now taken over and he will be the resident Jason until Freddy vs. Jason where he was replaced. Like Dan Dude Domination, if that's how you pronounce it, pointed out, Jason has a little bit of a element of surprise kind of thing going on in this one. And that's kind of cool. He also uses some large tools, which I suppose is supposed to make up for the fact that none of these deaths are creative or memorable in the slightest. The effects are okay. There's a little bit of a stalking thing going on. I can't claim that I at any point cared when someone died. It usually wasn't that interesting of a death effect, and I didn't like any of the people in this at all. Some of them I outright hated. Excuse me. 
filming and editing is again average at best. And the climax. I'm not gonna give away what it is, but if you have if you take one guess at it, you're probably gonna get it right. It's pretty lame. I don't know, I guess they were really running out of ideas and yeah. I think that's what there is to say without getting into spoilers, so that was my spoiler for review of Friday the 13th Part Why Are We Still Doing This 7? The New Blood. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time.